Good day. This is the Valder BB Show, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? Good morning. I'm Nona Evans. I'm the executive director for Whole Kids Foundation. Well, thank you so much for joining us. What do you know that you want us to know today, Nona? Oh, my goodness. You know, we're so lucky. At Whole Kids, our entire mission is improving children's nutrition. And we love it when we get to share some of the wisdom that we've learned from working with schools with parents and listeners and viewers. Okay. Now, I know you're with Whole Food Market, so are we just talking good, healthy, close-to-the-earth food? We want parents to be able to understand that? You know, absolutely. Whole Foods Market, back in 2011, actually founded our nonprofit, Whole Kids Foundation, just to improve children's health. So what we do is encourage families with three really simple tips uh, to pack more nutrition into every bite that you take. So we like to say eat a rainbow of color through fruits and vegetables. Uh, we like to encourage parents and kids to eat their greens first because we know that leafy greens have more nutrition than any food that you can eat. And to your point, we love folks to eat as close to nature as possible. And what that looks like is just thinking about if what you're about to eat looks like something that might have grown out of the ground. You know the challenge. Kids like what they like and want what they want. How do we meet that challenge? You know, I know it firsthand and personally. You know, I have a picky eater myself, and we get the energy that that can take from parents. So there's two things that we know really well. The first is that if you get your kids involved, it radically changes their attitude and opens up their uh, appetite for new and healthy foods. So we like to encourage people to make the grocery shopping trip quality time. Get your kids involved, give them the job of selecting five things on your list, and then talk about how you choose. So maybe it's how you pick fresh fruits or vegetables or what you look for on a nutrition label. Put them in charge. The other thing that we know works is giving kids healthy choices. When you do that, they make healthy choices. So we like to encourage parents to do what we do at schools. We provide salad bars, and believe it or not, a salad bar at school increases the fruits and vegetables that kids eat by three times. So if you make a big pile of leafy greens in the middle of your cutting board and surround it with some beautiful, fresh, colorful fruits and vegetables, have a family contest, see who can make the most colorful salad, take pictures, make it a challenge. So, is socialization important in them eating better also, too? Because you talked about the salad bars. I think oh. schools have ramped up their menus. So, you know, you got the, the regular, oh, I'm not going to call them regular kids, but you got the kids who didn't bring lunch. They're over here eating at the salad bar, eating some wholesome food, and you bring this great lunch. So is that you know, that socialization, is that going to help? You know, the food setting at school is so important for many reasons. You know, uh, for those of us that pack their kids' lunch, it's really important for us to ensure that our kids are well-nourished. But for the total education experience, it's important for every child at school to have a really nutritious lunch. It affects how our teachers teach. Uh, if kids can pay attention, they're much easier uh, in, in terms of the classroom environment. So yes, yeah, socialization is very important. In fact, one of our favorite stories uh, is about what we think of as positive peer pressure. So when you put a salad bar into a school setting and your child's friend maybe takes some broccoli, um, it's a really positive influence. In fact, there's a little girl that we interviewed recently, and she said, you know, my mom used to serve me broccoli at home, and it was really gross, but at school my friends eat it, and it's awesome. So <laughs> all, of that, all of that positive peer pressure definitely works. I want to let my audience know that Nora Evans is the Whole Kids Foundation president and executive editor. You know, one of the things I would recommend also, too, this is what I did with my kids. And I did it with my church also. I took them on a tour of the local Whole Foods store. They had a community ambassador, and we made an appointment, and we went on a tour of the store because a lot of people are intimidated by that kind of environment. Sure. Why, I don't know. It's just food. It won't bite. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, they went on a yeah. tour, and some of them, as I see them years later, tell me they do shop at Whole Foods. You know, it makes a big difference um, to uh, have a different kind of food conversation. In, in fact, one of the things that we encourage is to mix up your food influencers. So if you have a picky eater, I know my son when he was younger, he would eat 
anything that Miss Faye at our grocery store handed him. I could hand him the very same thing, and because I was mom, no thank you. So she was a different kind of food influencer. So the grocery store can actually be a really good friend to parents. It can. So where do you want to send my audience so that they can have these great lunches for their kids? I'm an advocate of bringing your lunch. Boy, did I have to fight with my kids about that, though. Yeah, you know, and, and that time in the lunch line at school is really important social time. So that's one reason it's so important that we support our schools in serving the most nutritious lunches they can possibly serve. We would love to invite people to visit wholekidsfoundation.org. It's where we serve up all of the great ideas and tips and tricks and even hands-on activities check out our kids club section you know another great resource is wholefoodsmarket.com you know as i said whole foods started whole kids five years ago and there are just loads of great tips and recipes on their website and as you mentioned you know when when you shop at whole foods they have such amazing quality standards it's easy to make healthy choices that's right. And all you, my millennial listening audience, I know you're listening. You've got those kids. Take them to Whole Foods and give them some healthy lunches. I want to thank you so much, Nora Evans, for this uplifting and great conversation. So much. Eat well. It's my joy. Thank you.